Hi, this is Paul from finishyoursong.com and in this video and the next video I want to have a look at how to improve the performance of your computer. This, for those of you who don't know, is a song of mine called This Close to Falling in Love. And when I work on this song, it takes a little over five minutes to load the project file. And in this video and the next video, I'm going to have a look at speeding that up. The reason it takes so long is there are two instances of contact, the contact clavinet and the session horns, and Easy Drummer's Americana kit. And when I load the project, the two of them sit there fighting each other for access to the hard disk. All of the sound libraries for these sample-based instruments are based on the hard drive. And what I'm going to do in this video and the next video is look at the process of changing that situation. Because I have added a solid state drive to my laptop. I'm fortunate the laptop I have has a second drive bay and I've been able to add one as an internal drive. So. From 5 minutes and 9 seconds, I'm looking to have a significant improvement in the performance and the load time of my laptop. I've also moved my project files from my hard drive onto the solid state drive so that I can get improved performance when I'm recording. It's not that the laptop itself is lacking in a little bit of oomph. It's an i7 processor with 6 gig of RAM, so it should be quite capable of handling the requirements that I'm putting on it. But where it struggles is paging all of that sample information into memory. So, with that having said all that, let's go and see how we do it. Right, so what we have on screen in front of us is on the left hand side is the tune track product page that deals with moving the sounds for Easy Drummer 2. From what I gather you can't actually do this with Easy Drummer 1. And on the left hand side we've got a window into my file system using Windows Explorer. And this is a worked example of how things are not obvious or easy. As you'll see on screen it says simply locate the Easy Drummer folder and then drag and drop it to a new location. OK, so we've got to find it. I've upgraded from Easy Drummer 1, so it's in C, Program Files, Toon Track, Easy Drummer. There it is. No, there it isn't. That's the Easy Drummer executable for the standalone, the operation manual, and a folder full of clicks. There's no library there. So, maybe it's in the x86 folder, the Program Files 86. So let's have a look in Program Files x86, Common Files, Tune Track, ah, there's no Easy Drummer. So, but if we have a look down here in the x86 Tune Track folder, sure enough, there's Easy Drummer, and there's the database and there's all of the kits. Now, I don't have all of the kits. What it actually does when it installs Easy Drummer 2 is it installs all of the graphics that go with the kits. So I don't have, for example, the Funk Master ones. All that's in there are indeed the graphics that go with the Funk Master. But if I come back up and go into the EasyX Indie, for example, there's the folder with all of the different sounds. So what I want to do is to take that Easy Drummer folder and copy it lock, stock and barrel to the new location in my library drive, my SSD drive. And so what I'll do is I shall click on that and drag it and copy to Tune Track. Now what we'll obviously have to do at a point in the future is disable that Easy Drummer drive to test what's going on. But for right now, I'm going to leave it to discover all the items and calculate how long it's going to be. And it's got 
gig of data to transfer. That's going to take it a little while. So uh, I'll be back in a minute. Right, well that took a bit longer than 2 minutes and 45 seconds. It was actually nearer to 25 minutes to transfer the contents of that folder. So now let's see what we've got. The first thing to do is we're going to rename Easy Drummer folder as Easy Drummer as old Easy Drummer and that hopefully will confuse Easy Drummer to, into believing that the file has been deleted. As I'm after speed and not space I'm not in a rush to delete that library file and if something goes horribly wrong all I have to do is rename it back to what it was and I'll be able to get all my software working again. So we'll close that down and then it says here when you launch Easy Drummer it'll let you know it cannot find the sound files. Click the browse button and navigate to where you moved the Easy Drummer folder. So let's give that a go. Let's open up Easy Drummer. And it has crashed. Okay. Alright. Pratt. Hey, it didn't like that, did it? Let's try that again. Right, so it doesn't like it there. We're going to have to try doing it in Keybase. So having managed to comprehensively stop Easy Drummer from working, what I did was I went back into Windows Explorer, changed the folder back to Easy Drummer from old Easy Drummer, and Easy Drummer standalone then worked fine. I've now changed it back to be old Easy Drummer again, and I'm now going to load it into Cubase, and we'll see if we can get it to let us browse for the missing library. And it's crashed again. However, the last time I did this, before we get anywhere, I was able to browse. And I will now browse to the library, Tune Track, Easy Drummer, and select that folder. And as you can see, it now works. So we've now persuaded Easy Drummer, at least in Cubase, that that's what will happen. So what we need to do now is to reload Cubase and test it, and then test it with the standalone on the desktop. Let's see if it works. Right, well, I reloaded Cubase and it works. And I'm just going to prove the point by now loading the desktop version of Easy Drummer as a finale to this video. A month. And there it goes, and as you can see, it loads respectively rapidly. All those samples in. Now what I'm just going to do, just to prove the point, I'm going to load a new kit. So we'll go for the classic. There you have it straight in, loaded up. A bit of messing about, but that's faster. In the next video I'm going to look at moving the libraries for Contact 5 and I hope that that's going to be less fraught than this has been. So until then, you take care of yourselves.